this weekend, the space world will be watching this space for the launch of a NASA crew to the International Space Station. The launch delayed overnight. SpaceX says it was taking more time to confirm safety issues. With four lives on the line, every launch is dangerous. What we do up there is for all of us here on Earth uh, and hopefully will benefit uh, our society for many, many years in the future. This is the most international crew yet, represented by the U.S., Japan, Denmark, and Russia, still a space partner despite the embargo and war in Ukraine. When you go to the ISS and you look at the planet, you see that there are no borders. But as this crew rockets to a six-month stay on the space station, the world's focus is really on the moon. Lander module. India this week landed the first robotic spacecraft on the moon's south pole, days after Russia's unmanned Luna 25 crashed in the same area. Now the focus shifts to NASA. The future of America's space program is here at the Operations and Checkout Building at the Kennedy Space Center, where right now they're assembling the spaceships that will return America to the moon. Last year, an uncrewed Artemis mission orbited the moon. Now, engineers are working on the Orion capsule that will do a lunar flyby, a big loop, as soon as next year. Already, the Artemis II astronauts are in training. And I just feel like this is a robust machine that's ready to take us around the moon. If the Artemis II lunar flyby is successful, Artemis III will land on the moon. But NASA chief Bill Nelson says that mission will not be an Apollo repeat. We're going back to the moon. It's actually a different moon. We're going to the South Pole. The South Pole, which may hold frozen ice water, critical for a future moon base and a potential source of rocket fuel for future missions to Mars. It's why that Indian probe landed there last week. China wants to land its own astronauts there by 2030. Tom, I think the space race is really between us and China, and we need to protect the interest of the international community. NASA Chief Bill Nelson there, who says, listen, Russia and China plan to collaborate on their own lunar base. So America needs to get there quickly with the international partners. And this is how, guys, this is the Artemis rocket stack. It's more powerful than the Saturn V Apollo rockets, 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. And the astronauts for Artemis will ride to the moon in the Orion crew capsule up on top. We're going to be talking a lot about Artemis in the years ahead. I'm going to be here for every one of them. <laughs> Back to you. We know you. Of course, yeah. Tom Costello has his own Artemis rocket stack. Love it. <laughs> of course he Tom, does. Tom, thanks, man. I Pro just love how his face lights up. He probably we'll travels with that. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.